So when we talk about product management, one of the challenges is that a lot of people mean very different things by that title. There's not a lot of consistency. And one of the reasons for that is that product managers are very often the gap fillers. They're the glue that hold all of the different departments together. And that was how it was originally conceived when you go back to the original Procter & Gamble brand man decades ago. It was the person who coordinated all the different departments. And so today in tech, we have the same idea of a product manager bringing together lots of different stakeholders to make the product successful. But as a gap filler, that often means that a, an individual product manager will stretch to fill whatever gap exists in that different company. And every company has different gaps. So if you've got a really strong engineering team, maybe the product manager is less focused on engineering and more focused on mm. design. If you've got a great design uh, team. I've worked at a company that had a, a fantastic UX lab. I did very little design work as a product manager. So one way to conceive of a product management job is as a hub and spoke. And this is a pretty common analogy that we use to understand roles that are about coordination. So if we put the product manager at the center of this hub and all of the other departments that are involved in the success of the product as the outside of the rim, then we can imagine how far out to that edge does the product manager stretch and how, <laughs> there you go, hold it up for the people on YouTube. Again, it's great to uh, have that visual. Thank you. Uh, then, thank you. then we can sort of see that we can map as a sort of amoeba the different ways in which the product manager is filling these different gaps.